Hey, how's it going? Good morning. My voice is a little shot. We'll see how long it holds out. And I'm on the old Subic Bay Naval Station. And this is a lava pier. I'm 99% sure my ship, the USS Horn, pulled in here in the 80s. I was here on a couple of Westpacs. We either pulled in here or on the other side. And my taxi driver said that other side is still secured uh, with a private company. I don't know what, but we can't get over to that pier. And this is the old... I'll call it the Admiral's Building, for lack of a better word. I'm not sure. You'll have to forgive me. I'm no expert on Subic Bay. I was here five or six times, but that was in the 80s, and I just don't have that kind of memory. But over here are the ferries to Grande Island. It doesn't look like they're super operational right now. And then off in the distance, I'm not sure what the name is, but I believe that's the new Korean shipyard that went out of business in 2019 and if i have my boundaries correct qb point yeah and that is uh the old qb point i can barely see the control tower right to the left of those uh ships and it's now subic bay international with i know they have flights around uh, the philippines but they don't have one to bangkok although they're starting service bangkok direct to the old clark air force base here at the end of april so just watching other YouTube channels, I believe this was the Bachelor Officer's Quarters, and it used to be which hotel? The Agenda? The Agenda, the Agenda Hotel. The Agenda Hotel, but now it looks like it's private housing? It's, uh, so there you go. It doesn't look like it did in the 80s with about 12 ships pulled into port. It's a little quieter these days. This is the old miniature golf course, right? kind of behind the Admiral's building. I, I don't know if we're calling it the Admiral's building, the, the main port building. I know there was always a one-star flag flying there. You can see the old miniature golf, and we're heading over to the... And here is the, uh, the old fleet post office. I don't remember if it was building 662 back in the day. I assume it was. Here's building 255. I'm not I'm not sure what that used to hold, but she's still standing strong. Just a block from uh, is it Alva? Alva Pier? Alva Pier, yeah. And it's all locked up today, but this is more of Alava Pier. Here's building 227 if that's familiar to anybody. I believe my ship pulled in over here one time and then another time in front of the Admiral's building. And there's more over here, I believe, is where the dry dock used to be. And then one time I think we pulled in over here. That area, my uh, taxi guy says, is still secure with, I don't know what he said. I think he said a Korean operation, but I can't get over there. Now behind this gate is a private company, the SRF Pier. So the pier goes like this, then it goes over here, Alava, or Alava, Alava Pier, and then it goes all the way down. And at the very end of the road where you see that bus, a little further is the uh, where the one star flag and the big Filipino flag were flying. And here's the Spanish gate on base. So here's the old Freeport Exchange, and if, if my memory serves me right, that this was the Far East Trader, but I'm not positive, and you know, my, my throat's giving out on me, so I'm gonna do the best I can. Here's the Law Enforcement Department building. I'm not sure if this is, but this looks like one of the original buildings. I don't see a building number on there. Do you know the building number? Uh, 957. 957, possibly? Uh, 657, 657. 657. And here's Remy Field. Looks like some people out exercising. Is there a high school or something over mm -hmm. here? Oops. High school. Point. Oh, Remy Field. Mm -hmm. 
I think we actually came here to do uh, our once a year PT test. Now here's gate 14. This is, uh, you can't, this is how, oh, gate 14 over here? Which one's 14? Okay, this is gate 14, which is uh, just for cars and motorbikes. Yep, 14 gate. And here is the uh, bridge over the S River, heading towards the main gate at McSaisai. Or to head to McSaisai. And then over here is the new Subic Bay Yacht Club. And again, I apologize for my voice. <clears throat> I thought I was doing better. And over here, if we're not mistaken, was the Lemons go-kart track. And this is the old parking shop. Yeah, it still has the old uh, money exchange sign. So this was just like a quick exchange, right? Run in, grab a six pack of beer. Mm -hmm. So the main gate is on the same street as the Jollibee and it's being renovated. So right now, <clears throat> this is the main gate to head over to Max Sai Sai, and I'll do that later. But right now I still have my cab and we're driving around. Here's the Wow World Complex. Right now it's an Adidas shopping outlet. So here's the new construction on the main gate. And we think this used to be the bowling alley area. There's no building numbers left and everything is uh, everything is being redone and new hotels popping up everywhere. Here's the Subic International Hotel and my taxi driver Sonny said it's called, it was called the Charlie Building. So it looks like it was um, some form of barracks at some point. And then he said across the way he thought this was the old swimming pool area. He was maybe 40, and he says his memory's not that great either, but he thought this was a swimming pool area. And then he said um, Alpha and Bravo building were also right over here. Again, I apologize. I'm not the greatest uh, history buff when it comes to Subic Bay. It's been... 1987, I guess, or 88 was the last time I was here. But I'm gonna just walk around until my voice completely stops, and then I'll just keep filming. I feel fine, I just don't have any pipes. As long as I can take the heat, I'm gonna walk around and uh, film. Many of the old buildings are remaining, but uh, many were destroyed with the Mount Pinatubo disaster but perhaps leaving the comment like this uh, Subic Korean Community Church if that used to be another use back in the day it looks like a newer building And it looks like they're getting ready for a parade. 
lot of Catholic tradition here in the Philippines. And again, I'm no expert, but across the way where those container ships are, I believe is where the carriers pulled in at QB Point. And over here is uh, parasailing and jet ski rentals. And I'm staying back around the corner there at Baloy Beach. Morning. Waterfront in Sampson. Port of Subic Administration Building. I just talked to one gentleman. He looked like a sailor. And my taxi driver said he thought a, a ship had pulled in over here. But he was um, UDT. So they're over here doing some training, I would imagine, with the Philippine Navy. He's just coming out of this 7-Eleven. I was asking him if there was a ship over here, and he goes, nah, I don't know, man. I don't have anything to do with ships. Fair enough. Liberty Sports Bar. There's a pretty large group of Americans coming back from the training field, and my taxi driver said they're part of the uh, joint forces that work with the Filipino Navy. And I'm not sure how many of them are stationed on the base, but that's good to see. Yeah, U.S. and the Philippines have always had a, had a strong tie, especially when it comes to the military and the Navy.
Looks like some uh, Navy diver training going on. I see those uh, big crazy dive helmets. I'm not going to get any closer filming. I'm sure they wouldn't appreciate that, but a little training. And again, about where that dive training was going on, uh, you would have ships pulling in to abreast here all the way. And I believe here was a, a floating dry dock. And then this part of the base is still off limits. It's now a private shipyard uh, my taxi guy wasn't sure he thought korean but he did say a navy ship pulled in here i think he said about a month ago i think this is the srf pier area but i'm not certain Here's a guy making his little woodworking. You want to make that uh, cool ship's placard or your name for your desk. This is the man to get the job done. So I was just talking to a nice uh, taxi driver. He, he told me the exercise is called Bali Katan, which is a joint effort between the U.S. and the Philippines. Of course, there's a long, long tradition between the two nations. And they're over here training together. And if, from the looks of things, I haven't seen anybody yet that wasn't huge and looked like a Navy SEAL or a diver or something. So maybe it's the special forces that are over here training with them. I don't know. He did tell me three ships. The USS America. I think he said the Macon County and the John Moore. I think he said John Moore. They all just uh, left about four or five days ago, and they did pull into the old school piers right under the flag there. And uh, he, this gentleman right here, real nice guy, he might drive me to Angeles City tomorrow. He said um, a merchant marine ship, he thinks it's a U.S. merchant marine ship, well, U.S. crew, they're all flagged somewhere else, is going to pull in, I think he said tomorrow. So that's a, that's a pretty good amount of customers for all the locals around here.
Hey, it's, thanks for taking this look around uh, Subic Bay, April of 2023. I apologize, my throat went out. I couldn't have narrated much anyhow. I don't remember what some of those old buildings were. I do know that this is the main gate and it's under construction where you see the blue crane. I guess they're making a new uh, bridge over the, we'll call it the S River, the PG rated version. But I'm gonna go ahead and walk the uh, temporary gate out towards Magsaysay and then end the video there and I'll, I'll start another one uh, walking around along the pole in the Magsaysay area. Thanks for watching. If uh, you're interested in these views of uh, Southeast Asia, I'm based out of Bangkok, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it. And once again, this is a temporary bridge over the S River. The original was off here to the left, but they're building a, a whole new, brand new bridge. Gates or not, you still have a pretty good idea of uh, what you're going over. It uh, smells a little funky. But you do pop out at the new SM Mall.